Okay, turtle. So if we just start like this. Uh -huh. uh, well, let me get this going here. Yeah. Whoa, here we wow. Go. Here we go. It's oh, working. Man, that's yeah. awesome. <gasps> hey, wait a second. What? I think we're missing Liberation Living Room again. Ah! Oh! We're always late. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's wait, go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come on in. Good to have you here. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Liberation Living Room. It's Ben Soli on Tell Hi, everybody. And so this is the Liberation Prophecy. So we're going to play a song called Electrified, and it's about all the things in the world that we have that are electrified these days. And there's a lot. You ready to hear some music? Yeah. All right, here we go. The trees are electrified. The streets are electrified. Your ears are electrified. My voice is electrified. Your heart is unsteady, they can make it beat and tie. Your mind is confused, it will be clarified. If you're old fashioned, you will be modernized. If that thing is electrified, if that thing is electrified. the jungle, use the satellites. If you broke in the city, sneak on the bus line. You lost your job, cause it was mechanized. They said we have to compete when the market's globalized. And then things is electrified. And then things is electrified. And then things is electrified. Touch the base of your spine I feel you shudder and close your eyes Move like a swallow when I'm in the sky Everything is electrified Everything is electrified Everything Come on everybody, jump! Maybe vilified Assess your losses Learn to diversify Find your higher calling And evangelize Build your congregation Now you're televised Everything is electrified Everything is electrified Everything is electrified Everything is electrified
Well, so I'm so happy you. you came to the living room. Well, I mean, thanks for having me here. All right. Great. I feel liberated. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so do we. Do you feel <laughs> liberated? Do you all know that word? Liberated? Uh huh. I do you feel, feel excited and free? <laughs> Good. <liberated>? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally curious as to when you decided that you would put songwriting and the cello together. Um, it was one of those things that happened organically. I grew up in a family that had a lot of music in it. My dad listened to a lot of R&B music. So we had things on the radio and CD player like Wilson Pickett, and Otis Redding, and all those guys sang and, and wrote their own songs. And so when I found the cello in public schools, it was just one of those things where I was like, well, I'll, I'll write songs on it. Right. But I was never a very good singer. Right. Did you and do the thing like that probably we did, which was like um, basically turn on the radio and just play along? Yeah, it was one of those <laughs> things where I, I sang and played because I loved it. And um, that made not being all that good at it at first totally bearable, at least for me. Right. Hopefully for my parents, too. And so eventually, after doing it so long because I loved it, I got better at it. When did you uh, start with the cello? Uh, when I was nine years old in fourth grade. So I, I got it up in public schools and the teacher came in and showed all the instruments and she was actually a violin player. So um, she wasn't that good at playing the cello. So when she showed us the cello, she's like, all right kids, this is a cello and this is what a cello sounds like. And I said, really? Is that what a cello sounds like? <laughs> Wait, show me one more time. And she's like, I, that's not what a cello sounds cello sounds like this. <laughs> and I said, I want to play that one. <laughs> and so that's why I started. And I was actually the only cellist in the, in the um, little orchestra of eight kids. And we got together twice a week in the, in the utility closet of our gym at our school. <laughs> and we would play music. And it was the best. Absolutely. That's exactly what I do with the saxophone. I think for, actually, until now, it kind of sounds like a duck sometimes. Yeah. But um, at the time, it's like you're practicing, everybody in the house is like, oh, please stop. It kind of looks like you know? a duck, too. <laughs> right. right. Um, I have another question. I was wondering, like, what would you do if you couldn't sing and play cello? And I don't know. Yeah. Well, well I, I would say there's, there's a couple dreams that I have of things that I would like to do. I would have really liked to be... Don't tell anybody. A dancer. I would have loved to be a dancer. That was my dream. But um, it wasn't exactly in the cards, for whatever reason. So um, there's not a lot of, uh, of dancers in Kentucky. Not as many as there could be. So I would say the other thing that I'd like to be is maybe uh, a cyclist. Yes, but like you've ridden your bicycle all across the country. It's true. Right? I guess in a way I mean, I've gotten to be a cyclist. Actually, I was traveling so much um, as a musician in planes and trains and automobiles, and they're so fast that I was like, I need a change. I want to go slower. And so I saw a commercial for a bicycle that's big and long to fit my cello, and I said, I want to travel like that. And so I started doing music tours by bicycle with my instrument on the side of the bike. And over the last three years, we've ridden about 4,000 miles around the country with the cello on the side of the bike, playing music. How amazing is that? Four yeah. times. I mean, right? Yes. Beautiful. Right. Um, where do, you know, you wrote the song Electrified. It's true. And where does that come from? Where do these songs come from for, for you? Well, I, again, like I said, I was traveling around the world, and everything seems to be electrified when you're, when you're on planes and trains and automobiles. There's people brushing their teeth with electric toothbrushes, and there was people sleeping with speakers playing sounds of oceans. And I was, I was just a remarkable thing to me that the idea of things getting better means for them to be electrified as opposed to human powered. And um, so that's what the inspiration of the song was. And that we're all a little bit electrified. I mean, our bodies have electricity that comes out of them. Did you all know that? Did you know that your body, you know when you use an iPad or an iPhone and you touch that screen? It's like helping, sen it's sensing your electronics in your body. Not electronics, your electricity coming out of your body. And I think that's pretty cool that we're all electrified. Absolutely. And I think now, you know, we're gonna take some uh, questions from the audience. Oh, so. do you all have any questions? Um, what's your favorite color? Oh, well that's a very good question. My favorite color is blue. Why do you need glasses? 
glasses? <laughs> it's a good question. Um, well, to be perfectly honest, one of my eyes is lazy. It, it just it won't stay in place. It just wanders all over the place. And so when I wear glasses, it keeps it straight. So that's why I wear glasses. And it helps me see better. Any other questions? Red. Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? No. Mmm, I love avocados. Do you like oh, avocados? Yeah. Oh, my sister really does. <laughs> I love avocados and I love um, citrus fruits. I love tangerines and stuff like that. Too. Um, yes, question chicken. Uh, do you like Michael Jackson? I love Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson was one of my heroes when I was, I used to walk around, well, I used to dance around the house to Michael Jackson. And I think I was just listening to him the other day, and as I go back and listen to him, the way his songs are recorded and everything are just really amazing. I love Michael Jackson. Me too! Me too! Yeah. Well, after the show, we'll have to see some Michael Jackson dance moves. Uh, what? What? I can't ride my bike on two wheels, so how can you do it? <laughs> what? No, it's a good question. Riding your, a great question. riding your bicycle is really tricky. Because what do you have to do when you ride a bicycle? You have to balance. That's right. My Balancing. Before you can pedal, you have to balance. So they actually make little bicycles called balance bikes that don't have any pedals. And so you start, I started on one of those where I would just sit on the bike and I would just kick along and I learned to balance. And then once I could balance, it was really easy to pedal. So maybe you could try to find one of those balance bikes. Um, also, you know, if you all have any questions, we have Carly Johnson on the vocals. You all saw her singing. Yeah. We have Craig Wagner on the guitar back here. Chris Fitzgerald on the bass. Mike Hyman on the drums. He's jamming out back there. And uh, Chris Fortner on the trombone. Does everybody, has ever, anybody ever seen a trombone? Nope. Raise your hand if you see a trombone. All right. Do you have any questions for any of the other musicians, or I hate to interrupt you, but oh, yeah. some people don't have hands here. Oh, that's true. Um, maybe just if, raise your hands or flippers. Flippers. Yeah. Please. There you go. Oh. Yeah. What, uh, Mr. Turtle? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Can I ask the guitarist a question? Sure. Um, why does your guitar have an extra string? Uh, yeah, that's a really good question. You know. Uh, I think it, they just left it on the vine too long when they picked it off the guitar tree and it just got overripe and it grew an extra string. So, yeah. So, so then bass guitars are picked too early? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> That was killing. That was an awesome show. You know, you Ooh. always know that when you're playing with Ben Soli, yeah. it's going to be fun. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, that guy's a wild card. I mean, is there anything better than cello and voice at the same time? I don't know. Well, there probably. Maybe. Huh? Uh, maybe we shouldn't get salmon, into Salmon, I think. Well, I'm salmon. I'm <laughs> biased. Salmon is always good. I'm biased. We talk about that every show. <laughs> I, I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. Yeah. Hey, uh, listen, Jacob. Yeah? During the show with Ben, I, uh, I thought of a question I wanted to ask you, but I didn't inter interrupt you playing. So I just wait until now. Just remember, you can always ask me during the show. I, we love oh, questions. Awesome. But yes, tell me, what do you got? Well, I heard Carly say something to Ben about harmony. Uh, I think they were talking about singing harmony. What's harmony? What is that? Oh, yeah, man. Harmony is when you have, like, more than one note playing mm -hmm. at the same time. More than one person singing at the same time. Mm -hmm. In music. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Well, doesn't that sound like a mess? I don't think it ever sounds like a mess. It always sounds interesting. Somebody's always going to feel that story, you know? Um, not everybody's going to like the harmonies, but somebody will, probably. But you want to try some? 
Well, I'm not much of a singer. It doesn't matter. Everybody can make harmony. Everybody can sing together. Mm. Let's let's try it. All right. Mm. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh, okay, okay, now we're gonna try some harmony. All right, let's hear that note again. Okay, ready? Mm. Oh. What? <laughs> oh my Are gosh! You? Where did you come oh, from? Wow! I've heard singing and I love to harmonize. Wow. Three part harmony. Can you beat it? No. Yeah. Did you know there's another meaning to the word harmony? Really? No. Outside of music. What that, does it mean? That people can be harmonious. Whoa. It's pretty crazy. What do you think that means? I don't know. Let me think about it. All right. No, no. Okay. I got nothing. Sorry. Well, maybe we should go ask some friends. Yeah, let's do that. They know everything. They do. All right, let's do it. Harmony is like loving each other and working together on a picture or something you want them to work about. Uh, when you sing quiet things. Harmony to me is when I'm pulling a cart with another horse and we're just in step going the same rate all the time. <laughs> I think it's, it, it's accepting things. When you sing and it's really quiet and nobody can hear it. Well, harmony to me is nature. It is like the sounds like the birds, trees, the plants grow, the wind blows, and the sunshine is bright. That way harmony means to me. Thank you.